Have you ever heard about Gemini Code Assist? If yes, I have really good news for you. Now, Gemini Code Assist is free for individuals, freelancers, students, and so on. If you want to try it, then watch this video till the end, because in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use it inside VS Code. Hey guys, my name is Vlad and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back and thank you so much for your support. In this video, I'm going to show you Gemini Code Assist. It's a powerful AI system that could help you with your coding. If you want to start coding or you're already coding, this tool could be really useful. I recommend you watch this video till the end because then you will know all the functions of this AI tool. If you are ready, then let's get started. Gemini Code Assist is an AI-driven tool designed to enhance coding workflows. Google said that it supports more than 20 programming languages, including Python, JavaScript, C Sharp, and it has multiple features like coding generation, coding completion, debugging assistant, and the chat interface. Basically everything that you need to streamline your coding process and boost your productivity. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use it inside VS Code, but it's also available for other IDEs. If you want to know a little bit more details about it, you can visit the official website. I will leave the link under the description for this video. But I believe after this tutorial, you won't need it. Like I said, we are going to try it inside VS Code. And this means, first things first, you will need to have Visual Studio Code on your computer. I love VS Code so much and I recommend you to try it if you haven't tried yet. All you need, open Visual Studio Code com website then click at the download button at the top right corner visual studio code available for windows mac and linux so select the platform and download the package for example for linux you just click on linux icon then click get started and then define the command for linux to install your vs code but before that you have to download the package first I believe it should be really simple, so if you will struggle, please let me know. Once the installation finished, just simply open VS Code. To set up Gemini Code Assist, you need to set up extension. At the left sidebar, simply click this extension icon and then search for Gemini Code Assist. Here we go, this is Gemini Code Assist. And after that, click this install button. It could take a couple of minutes, so be patient. Okay, here we go, everything is ready. And let's try our AI Assist in action. Okay, I've created a simple project. I will call it Gemini Code Assist. Inside this simple project, I'm going to create main.py file. I'm going to use Python in this tutorial, but you can use any other language. The first thing we should do is login. At the bottom right corner, you will see this icon. Simply click on it and then sign in with your Google account. If everything is okay, you will be landed on this page. Then you can close it and go back to your VS Code. And here we go. In our VS Code, now we have this assistant. I would recommend you to restart the VS Code before you start using an assistant because if you don't do that, you could have a connection error with the Gemini server. After you restart VS Code, everything should be okay. Okay, and now we are ready to try our Gemini. There are multiple ways how you can open Gemini. You can use shortcut command Command I or Control I on the Windows, or you can simply click icon Gemini at the sidebar, and then you will see the chat. Okay, I'm going to use the chat. I will ask Assistant to create for me a simple Python code and let's see if it can do it for me. And here we go, this is my code. Okay, let's try to copy this code and check if it works. I'll do everything inside VS Code. So you can click this icons, copy the code to clipboard or copy the code into the file. Then save the file. Then let's open the terminal and run our script and seems everything is working this is my message exactly the same thing that i have asked okay let's try something with unit tests 
There's a many way how you can do that. For instance, you can select the function and then click at that predefined prompt, generate unit test. Or you can simply write prompt like uh, generate for me a unit test. Both ways are working fine. And here we go, this is our unit test. And now you can copy everything, insert into existed file or create a new file. Let me create a new file with this content. Then you can follow the instruction. Simply save the file and then run your code. Let's check if everything is working. And it seems yes, our unit test pass and everything is working as expected. Okay, let's try to debug some code. For instance, I'll change this function and instead of variable, we are going to use a string. And if I run the code now, you will see that instead of the actual name, there is just word name. And this behavior is wrong. So let's ask uh, Gemini to fix the code. To fix it, select the code first and then click the icon at the top right corner. And in the drop down, select fix and press enter. After a few seconds, you will get suggestion with the correct code from Gemini. Here we go, this is my code. If you are happy with this, you can simply click accept button. Let's save it and try to run our script. And here we go. Everything is working fine now. Perfect. Another thing that you probably should know about is auto completion. Basically, as you write your code, Gemini provides a real time suggestion to complete your code snippets. For instance, I write the class and Gemini gave me suggestion. To accept that, simply press tab and that's it. Let's try one more time with linked list. Here we go. This is that suggestion. Simply click tab to accept the suggestions. It's definitely useful, but double check your code because sometimes it could work not the way you expect. Another useful assistant feature is that you can tag a specific file. For instance, I could take my main.py file and ask Gemini anything about this file. I could ask about summary or I could ask Gemini to complete a specific function or made a code review or anything else. Let me ask Gemini to complete my linked list class and see if it can do this. And here we go. Gemini provided the code that I need. The only disadvantage is that you have to copy the code by yourself into specific places. For instance, if you don't know where to copy, then probably it will be a little bit difficult. But if you are familiar with programming, then it won't be an issue. All right, let me show you probably the last feature of this tutorial. Like I said, uh, you can ask Gemini about files inside your project folder and Gemini could find for you all you need. For instance, I'm going to ask how many files in my project and let's see if Gemini can answer on this question. Okay, this is the answer and seems it's correct. Gemini saw two files and it gives me some explanation about the files. Okay, let's try to ask Gemini to write for me unit tests for my class that I previously created. Instead of selecting text, I'm going to say to Gemini that I have a linked list class without a unit test and please write for me the one. And let's see if it can do it for me. And this is the result and seems everything is okay. So now we can just copy the code insert into our test file and let's run the tests and see if everything is working. And as you can see, everything is working fine. As you see, this assistant is quite powerful. It has some limitation because it's free version. You can do about 240 chats per day and around 6,000 uh, code related requests per day. I think it's enough, but you think not, then just purchase the premium version that costs around $19 a month. And that's it. As you can see, this tool is quite useful and keep in mind it's free. That's why give it a shot, try it and share with me your feedback and comments below if you like it or you don't like it. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Thank you so much for your support. If you like this video, please click like. If you don't like this video, it's okay. Just click like and share with me your feedback and comments below subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and watch my other videos because they are really useful and you can join my membership program on youtube 
because I am planning to post there some content that will be not available to public. So if you want to support me, you can join that channel. And I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye.